learning target 6.12, I can define a catalyst and explain how it affects reaction rate. So let's go ahead and define a catalyst. A catalyst is a substance that when re added to a reaction will speed up the reaction that's called lowering activation energy right. will speed up the reaction and not be used up right so the catalyst itself will never change so let's take a look at what that might look like okay so in order for you to understand activation energy we're going to draw a little diagram you might have heard this as a reaction diagram in some circles it's also known as a potential energy diagram So here's how it works, right? You have the reaction pathway down here, or how it progresses, going this way. You have energy going this way. What you usually will see is something like this. All right, let's go ahead and label this for the time being. This is your reactant or these are your reactants, I should say. These are your products. Are there cases where the reactants are lower than products? Absolutely. Okay. This is an exothermic reaction. The opposite would be endothermic. Okay. So another part, this is the transition state. Okay. It is the point at which you have basically started your reaction. Okay. Now, in order for you to get from your reactants to the transition state, your molecules have to collide with the correct orientation, they're facing the right way, and they have to collide with the right speed. Right? If they're too slow, no collision, well, no, the collision won't occur with enough energy. Okay, now, this part of this hill, if you imagine this as a hill going up this way, so I'm going to say the distance between the top of the hill and where the reactants start, that's called EA or activation energy. That is the energy required to start a reaction. Right? Because the reactants are just sort of hanging out and they're just kind of bumping into each other, but it's not until they get enough energy that they will reach the transition state to start the reaction. Okay, now, what the catalyst will do, if I were to draw what the catalyst is on this little hill, the catalyst is going to lower the activation energy. So instead of having to go all the way up here, it's going to just kind of take a shortcut through. Right, so now this is your new activation energy. So this pink dotted line would be the quote catalyzed reaction. Right, so we are adding the substance that'll speed up the reaction because you don't have to go all the way up to this to the top of the hill to reach a transition state. Right, you lower the activation energy, it's easier to go from reactants to products. Right. They are not used up, and a little side note, in bio, this is called an enzyme, or vice versa. An enzyme is an example of a catalyst in biology. Right? It's going to remain the same, it's not used up, it's not changed, right? but it speeds up your reactions. Okay. So here is your example question. Okay. In the food industry, manufacturers turn vegetable oil into margarine through a process of hydrogenation. This, not really necessary, it's just extra information. Okay, here's your real question. This chemical reaction occurs at the fastest rate 
and with the lowest activation energy when like whenever you see activation energy think catalyst as a little hint right so you're talking about a catalyst you're talking about activation energy you're talking about something going fast the only one of your four choices with a catalyst is the first one a nickel catalyst is used right this is not this will speed up the reaction but it's talking about the one that's going to go fastest now you know that neither one of these two can be the correct answer because there's nothing here that talks about ph right plus they give you low and high so as a strategy you'd probably think that probably doesn't have anything to do with the question